Yeah, it looks like this book is Western Star. I'll just assume it's trucks because Western Star doesn't make cars. Good looking load. Western Forest Products trucks. 20 years ago or more. The old line loader working on it, loading it. That was the one thing I'll never get to do that I always swore I wanted to do was run a line loader. I seem to have a bit of a ability to run iron and I was always told and heard that those were probably the hardest thing to run so all that did was spark the fire to want to learn and master it but by the time I grew up those things kind of grew old and there's none in my area oh yeah we're looking at trucks Like Leroy trucks that might be from the 2008 auction or the Ritchie brothers, the big one. Is it Ted Leroy trucking? Duncan logging that's Kelowna. I got a cool logo, a double bitted axe. Of guys used to be on three. My dad tried once, put his name in, but it never happened. I think it was, was it three or f three, four or five year waiting list to get on with that outfit. Steady work, good pay. This was in the 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. But yeah, real stand up company. You don't really see the trucks around. These to be a, quite the presence hauling food. But you had her made in the shade if you were on with aggressive transport. Dash one Hitachi there loading up. Hydraulic thumb. It was way ahead of his time for but dash one. They were like twelve grand for a thumb back then, thirty years ago. And nobody's gonna pay you a nickel more per hour because you had it. So it was a tough call for owner operators to go get their machines all rigged up. Canadian National Railway. Ted Leroy Trucking. IPL Island Pacific Logging. I've ridden in a couple of these a bunch of times. They had a really nice interior, all like an older Kenworth, all the diamond tuft with the little uh, little buttons. It's all puffy inside. Lots of them got Detroit diesels in them. Is life really that much better? You are putting so many more wheels, carrying so much more weight. Are people making so much more money with them? Is it relative? Uh, yeah, that picture there should be above pretty much everybody's fireplace. Like, like two and a half feet by four and a half feet. Something to enjoy, look at every night. 
fire going, a bearskin rug under it. So. Or if your house is old enough where you still got shag carpet, that'll do too. Good old days. A sideways log hauling, that's totally, I don't say irrelevant, but that's not a thing here or near here. Not the same picture, mirror imaged. You put that one above your basement fireplace. Put that one on your desk. That one in your wallet. Oh, and for me, put that one on your bucket list, a place you would have liked to have been running either of those. Man. Prettier than a picture. It was the last of the five axle days too, they were 20 some years ago. Overweighty was the store. Aggressive transport was like the trucking division of Overweighty. Overweighty is, as there was basically Jimmy Pattison's save on foods, as far as I got it figured out. Jimmy Pattison's one of the top richest people in Canada. And no disrespect, he's an okay guy, but he might be one of the top oldest people in Canada now too, if you know what I mean. Case excavator. Probably like an 888 or 1088. They were pigs. They had one and a half inch pins from boom to stick to cylinder to H bar to linkage. Every pin was one and a half inch on them, which makes no sense at all. It's way too small. Truck races down the freeway. Yes, our freeways are not much more than two lanes wide. I'm going to shut that down here and restart with the second half.